I'm Philip Curry. I'm going to show you how to make a glistening glass-like sugar dome. Now, it's not a technique that I invented, but it's one that I've used in a couple of my creations that I had to figure out how to do. I'll be showing it to you in real time with nothing sped up so you get an accurate sense of how it's made. Now, as usual, the recipe is really simple. It's just sugar, glucose, and water, but the devil's in the details, so watch closely and I'll show you how. So start with the smallest saucepan you can find, preferably made from copper or stainless steel, and add 50 grams of water. Then add 100 grams of caster sugar and 50 grams of glucose. You can scale this recipe up or down depending on the size of your saucepan. Before you start cooking your syrup, just make sure that all your sugar is wet. This will just help prevent any crystallization. Then place your saucepan over medium to high heat and bring it to a simmer. We're going to cook it to 150 degrees Celsius, also known as hard crack stage. So while the sugar is boiling, we have some time to prepare cling film and the rings that we're going to use. Use any bowl that some cling film will adhere to. I liked using glass. We want to wrap the bowl just until the cling film is taut. We don't want to overstretch it. This might make it a bit weak, so just until it's taut. I also like to use a second layer just for insurance and extra stability. So again, not too tight or overstressed, just until taut. We then grease a ring with some spray oil, whatever size ring you'd like to make your domes. Our sugar should be reaching 150 degrees Celsius. I like to turn my heat off at about 145 just before it reaches temperature. For this quantity, I'd absolutely recommend using a digital thermometer or at least a candy thermometer to be accurate. Do not stir the sugar, this will create air bubbles. We just want to cool it to 110 to 120 degrees Celsius. This is a great working temperature and it should be the consistency of honey. Now place a spoonful of the hot cooked syrup at around 110 degrees in the middle of the ring. Now, nothing is sped up here or slowed down, but this does take some time. And we very gently press down on the ring to create the dome effect. Now, the sugar will start to reach the edges. We're pushing down very gently. If you push too quickly, the cling film could pop and your dome could collapse. So it's just a very gentle pressure. You may need to apply pressure on one side to get the sugar to flow in that direction so that it reaches all the way around the edge evenly. You want to press down and just hold it once it reaches the uh, peak size that it'll reach and you'll hold it here until it cools. So you might want to place a fan just to cool the top of the dome and you'll know that it's ready when you uh, let go or gently release some pressure and it doesn't shrink back. Remember, if you use too much syrup, you'll have a very thick edge around the ring. And if you don't use enough, the sugar won't reach the ring. So there will be some trial and error to get just the right amount. Now, when it's ready, you'll know because it doesn't shrink back when you relieve pressure and you'll just gently pull the cling film away. This happens really quickly, really swiftly. It's a super satisfying sound and we're done. Look at that. We have a nice glassy, super fine dome of sugar. Now for the fun part of demolding, use an offset spatula to very gently push the dome of sugar out of the ring. Be still quite hot. If it cools down too much, your dome will crack quite easily. And we're done. So we have a beautiful dome. You can use a blowtorch with a smaller size ring to trim off a thicker edge if you'd like to, but otherwise we have a beautifully finished sugar dome. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new. See you next time.